Zambia is a young country. It will celebrate its 50th birthday as a free nation on October 24th of this year. I was given the rare privilege of sitting down and talking with Maureen Manawasa, the former First Lady of Zambia, and she told me that freedom is cherished by Zambians. We have a population of about 13 million people, and um, our greatest asset is peace and stability that we have enjoyed since independence. The former First Lady is a childhood friend of Princess Zulu, the founder of Fountain of Life, the organization that is hosting us and teaming with Hear Care Connection to serve the people of Zambia. The impact of this work is obvious to the former First Lady. Princess Kasune, she's our ambassador, she's our pride, and uh, the work she's doing, we uh, have an obligation to give moral support. After our visit, we leave Lusaka, the biggest city in Zambia, roughly the size of Indianapolis, and make the more than two hour drive into rural Zambia, or the bush as they call it. On our way, we see the lavish new home of the Zambian football or soccer national team, and the tremendous contrast with so much of the surrounding area. Here in Shibambo, the need for medical attention is immense. And as soon as our team begins to set up, the crowd rushes the clinic. They are in desperate need of not only this, hearing attention, but any kind of medical need they can get. It is a very friendly and appreciative crowd though. Steadily as the day goes, people come in with moderate to severe hearing loss. In this region, it comes mainly from infection, meningitis, side effects from malaria medication, and an overall lack of quality medical attention. The combination of the need and ability to help creates an emotional response for Team Hear Care. Audiologist Brady Schwab describes it. Morgan's about uh, five or six and he's never heard before um, and we put some headphones on him and uh, you know the second we kind of got to his threshold he started giggling and huge smile. It's just it's amazing. It's really amazing. The payoff is rich. The hearing smile. <laughs> We'll share more of them with you tonight at 11 and tomorrow morning. In Chibambo, Curtis Smith, 21 Alive.